Uh, this is illustration.org with Santosh Schumann. We're here to interview Drake Rodal. Uh, Drake, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, I'm a freelance illustrator based in Seattle, Washington. Um, I do, uh, my work sort of uh, plays off of little golden books and, and uh, sort of whimsical quick snippets, quick jokes. Um, but I like, to, I like to make people laugh with my work and, and, and maybe get a laugh myself. But um, some other things I do, um, background painting is, is one of my passions. I'm really interested in, in, uh, in you know, setting the stage for animation or for, for gaming or whatever it is. Um, but, uh, and I also teach uh, concept art classes, sound like you know, I'm all over the board, but <laughs> these things are all very sort of intertwined and related. Um, so uh, yeah, I just, uh, I just like to, to kind of render a simple idea and, and let it read as a joke or, you know, something sort of lighthearted and usually lighthearted. Uh, I, I paint for gallery shows and, uh, and uh, paint cartoon backgrounds for, for cartoon pitches. Um, and basically, uh, also watch it, uh, my son full time, so I try to squeeze in the art uh, at night. You know, so that can be rough, but I just have fun with my work, and I like to tell uh, sort of short little visual visual puns, visual jokes uh, to, to get people to smile, get people to laugh. So, what what are some of your influences? Uh, some of my influences are um, uh, 1950s. Uh, Hanna Barbera type backgrounds, um, Samurai Jack, uh, any of the sort of modern cartoons that, that, that riff on the Hanna Barbera style, I really like those. Um, but so many artists I admire, uh, Charlie Harper and uh, Ivan Durrell and Mary Blair and the, the great, the great uh, concept artists from Disney and, you know, you know it's just uh, like a huge list. Okay, but, um, that, that sort of stuff crops into my work. You'll see, you'll see me maybe borrow techniques here and there, uh, especially from Samurai Jack and, and Hanna Barbera, sponging and stuff like that. So, uh, so those, those people are hugely influential in my work, and, and uh, sort of the, the simplistic way that they, they can tell a story uh, is, is what I strive to do with my pieces. Awesome. So, uh, what advice would you give to somebody who wants to be a concept artist? Concept artist. Um, well, as a teacher now, um, I have sort of new perspective on it, and I would say focus all you can on your basics. Um, you need to build a solid foundation of art first. Uh, that's make your drawing as much as you can cram in. Uh, plein air painting, landscape painting. Um, get get your get your art foundation to be really solid. You can use that to jump into any arena. It, it, you know the principles, the basic principles of art apply across every different field of art. So I mean, you don't even have to be interested in just concept art, but you can use you can use your knowledge of uh, the art principles to you know to branch out in many different ways. Um, and and uh, I find a lot of students are a little too quick these days to jump right to the end. They want to go right for style, um, and, and you need to build the realist uh, the, the ability to render realistically first. So where can we see your wonderful artwork? Uh, you can see more of my stuff on drakeprodal.com uh, or pommel.blogspot.com. Awesome. Any last words? Uh, no, I just wanted to say thanks for uh, thanks for the opportunity to uh, reach out to people. All right, thank you, Drake. Thanks.